Hello everyone. We thought that it would be timely to introduce a short safety video on safe trailer usage. Over recent years, the Humble Box trailer has become an integral part of Quadricon operations. Whether you're moving tools, material or equipment, the Box trailer has allowed significant flexibility and capability across our network. We would be remiss to think that everyone was proficient with a box trailer. There are a number of key factors to take into consideration before you use such equipment. In this video, we'll cover common accidents, types of trailers, trailer safety features, usage, and maintenance. The first thing to consider when using a trailer is the pre-start. A general walk around to check whether the tires are fully inflated, whether the spare has got air, whether the cage is damaged or free from snagging objects. Obvious items such as broken or frayed cables, damaged chains or damaged jockey wheels are all part of the pre-start checklist. The most critical component of the box trailer is actually connecting it to your vehicle. This is the point where you can potentially crush yourself, have the trailer roll into you or be distracted and not do a proper connection. Prior to connecting, always ensure that your wheels are chocked and that the handbrake on the trailer is on. This will avoid damaging your car or damaging yourself. When lifting the gooseneck to the same height as a tow ball, make sure that you use the jockey wheel to get to the correct height. This will avoid a strain. Please make sure that you're not distracted on the phone talking to somebody else. Take the time to make sure that the handbrake is on and that the wheels are chopped, especially on sloping sites. Always check your light fittings before you plug them in and secure your change properly. This task should be done without distraction because this is the most critical part of trailer usage. Remember to get a buddy to check your lights. There's nothing worse than copying a fine for not having an indicator that's working. Remember that there is also a trailer inspection checklist located in Procore under the inspections tool. This will also help you check through the process. The tilt trailer has become a convenient tool in our kit. No more laboring at the tip face, just line it up tip and go. This convenience comes at a cost. There are a number of risks to take into consideration when using the trailer. Overhead structures, falling objects or crushing injuries. Each trailer is unique. Whether you're using the dual axle tilt trailer or you're using the single axle box trailer, they both have their own unique properties. Dual axles will have a higher load rating but they'll also be harder to manoeuvre. The second most important factor when considering using the trailer is loads and the distribution of those loads. In this instance, the correct weight ratio of 60% to the front and 40 to the rear is critical for safe usage. Incorrect weight distribution could result in violent swerving of your vehicle, your trailer, or both. Some trailers have two safety chains, some only have one. Remember when using the dual safety chain system to cross them over to create a safety net in the event that the tow ball comes off the hitch. Remember to disengage the reversing latch. It's great for reversing, but it'll disengage your brakes, which isn't what you want when driving. Once the tow ball is aligned with the trailer hitch, lower the trailer down using the jockey wheel. Remember to lock down the trailer hitch with the orange bungee cord, secure the chains and connect the light socket. Once the trailer is safely connected to the vehicle, you can then release the handbrake, disengage the reversing latch and remove the wheel chocks. Whether you're unloading waste at the tip or material on the job site, there are a couple of key factors that you need to consider before you use the trailer. Remember to disengage the safety latches, totally remove the tailgate and lock open the wire gate. The trailer is now ready for tilt function. Locate the remote control in the front lock box, remembering to stand well clear. Hit the up button and lift the tray far enough up to release your load. You may need to get into your car and move forward slightly to release the last part of your load. Once you've done so, hit the down button. This is the most dangerous part of the operation and may result in a crushing injury. Now that the trailer is safely in the down position, re-engage your safety catches, reconnect the tailgate and then re-lock the Y gate on top. When you're removing the trailer from your vehicle, you're obviously going to be following the opposite process. Remember, you don't need to commit this to memory. Utilize Procore's tandem trailer checklist in the inspections tool and walk your way through the exercise. Once these steps are complete, you can safely drive your vehicle away from the trailer. 